uh, 28-10 and 28-4 are going to be featured in this video. The solid white one on the screen now is 28-10. Looks a lot like the 28-1 male. Uh, this thing was a little hesitant to follow the stick, um, probably because uh, this was somewhere around hour six of us trying to get this done, and I don't know if she was more put up with it or I was, uh, but still yet, uh, as you get her out here and watch her in this video, you can see her elegant look from the side, her height, the shoulder. Uh, this thing is short-bodied. She's long-fronted. She's bold centered does a lot of the things that we're trying to do in today's times in terms of show ring setting. Uh, another one that I still think, though, study her pedigree. I think she's got sow value as well. Really nice guilt here in 28-10. 28-4 is in the ring now, and a bear that looks like he's got a lot of feed ability to me. I love this thing's skull. Uh, you put him in motion. I think he's got flex and bend off both ends. He's a hog that looks like you can honestly just hammer down on the feed bucket and blow him up when you need to, and his structure can take that. Hog that's got big toes, square feet, uh, lots of good things working in, in this dash four pig. I love his ability to just prop up and show you how tall shouldered he is, show you the flex he's got from behind. One that I think uh, long term is a hog that you can just do a lot of things with with the feed bucket again the light cross division uh it's a winnable division in, in lots of shows and lots of places i'd say feed this one you can got a chance